a larger mass star will not remain as a main sequence star as long as smaller stars. This may be surprising, as you might expect them to last longer as there is more fuel. However, because they are more massive, the temperatures and pressures are far greater, so the fuel gets used up much more quickly, even though there is more of it. For larger mass stars, instead of swelling into a red giant, it swells into a red supergiant, just a larger version of a red giant. The core contracts due to gravity in the same way as red giants, growing hotter and denser so that heavier nuclei can be fused. This halts the collapse as an outward pressure is produced when nuclear fusion takes place. Every time the star runs out of fuel, the core contracts, raising the temperature and pressure sufficiently for heavier and heavier nuclei to fuse. This happens until the core is mostly made of iron nuclei, which cannot fuse together. Nuclear fusion, therefore, finally stops. The star begins to collapse for the last time, with the core rising to over 100 billion degrees Celsius. The iron nuclei get crushed together, but the electrostatic repulsive force between them overcome the gravitational force, so that the collapse recoils and bounces back outwards. The final collapse and recoil all happen in less than a second, and an explosive shockwave is created. The shockwave travels through the star's outer layers, heating the material it encounters to a high enough temperature so that they begin to fuse to form new elements. In this way, all of the naturally occurring elements in the universe are created by just nuclear fusion. The shock wave sweeps material out from the star and the material is flown out into the universe in a huge explosion called a supernova. Supernovae can be observed in the sky with the naked eye because they are so bright. The youngest supernova observed in our galaxy was seen by Johannes Kepler in 1604, and Tycho Brahe recorded seeing one in 1572. The earliest record of a supernova is from 1054. This produced the Crab Nebula and was observed by Chinese astronomers. Supernovae do occur more often than the recorded dates suggest, and actually happen every few decades in our own galaxy, the Milky Way but we don't see them because they are obscured by dust. The remaining core left over from the supernova can either form a neutron star or, if it's massive enough, can form a black hole. A neutron star is made up entirely of neutrons which are created due to the extremely high pressure of the remaining core. Electrons are forced to combine with protons, forming the neutrons. A neutron star is normally about 10 miles in diameter but has 1.4 times the mass of the Sun. It's the densest known thing in the universe. One teaspoon of a neutron star on Earth would weigh a billion tons. Neutron stars spin very rapidly, turning one revolution in just seconds. They can have enormous electric and magnetic fields. Some neutron stars pulse with electromagnetic radiation. We can observe these pulses of radiation from Earth every time the magnetic pole crosses our line of sight. These neutron stars that emit pulses are called pulsars. A black hole is formed instead of a neutron star if the star was approximately 15 times more massive than the Sun. The collapse of the star would be so great that not even neutrons can withstand the high pressures. The core collapses into a singularity, forming a black hole. It is so dense that not even light can escape its gravitational pull. As nothing can travel faster than light, nothing can escape the pull of a black hole.